Okay, welcome back. Just wanted to do a quick review of this uh, 40th anniversary quarter scale alien uh, from NECA. I was going to say Kenner because it's got the, the kind of uh, Kenner throwback packaging as you can see here. Rather nice. Uh, I do like the, the packaging with these type of boxes where you can display your figures and then if you want to take them out you can take them out and repackage them don't really like the clamshell stuff but yeah it's got some nice images from the film there we live the exciting action of alien with the creature itself as seen in the movie and i did originally have a a um who was the original one made by again kenner I think I had a Kenner one or a House, Halcyon one or something. I did have one years ago and I sold it. Wish I'd have kept it now, because they're, uh, they're worth quite a bit. Even the uh, reproduction ones, and and it would be nice just to uh, show it for you know comparison. Yeah, I think uh, the Skull Reviews. He's got one that he restored. Done a really nice job on it. Highly articulated arms to crush its victims for the adjustable tail. Okay. Didn't I didn't think this one had a wire in the tail, but apparently it does. Good, 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 good. That would help. That will help with uh, hosing. Okay, so yeah, I just checked the tail and there isn't really much articulation in it. It's got a little bit of bend sort of around this area, but further further up it's it's not really got much articulation but it does help to sort of stabilize the figure yeah, you definitely need a stand <laughs> I'm using this dynamic stand here just to grab hold of his tail give it a bit more stability I've got it on yeah. rotating base like a TV turntable and then I just got this uh, rubber mat here just to give it a little bit more grip so it doesn't slip it is quite a well-balanced figure but it is top heavy you know, with that big uh, nut on there. But I've, uh, I've watched a few reviews on this figure and uh, um, I, can, I can put a comparison video down below if anybody's interested in seeing the different versions of 2008 and um, I can't remember, is it 17 and 19? I think this is the 2019 version, which is in my opinion, the best out of the lot. Uh, the 2017 one had the sort of plastic, you know, clear plastic lips, which kind of looked a little bit not right. Um, I still do like the 2008 version. Uh, that one that I showed recently is like custom because it was uh, damaged. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll sell that one, but being realistic, I probably won't sell. Because uh, there's, there's things about that figure I like more than this one, believe it or not. Even with uh, the damage and it being slightly smaller, uh, I do like the paintwork on it. And I have touched it up. I have added my own sort of rust and silver touches to it. This one has got more of a screen accurate look but it hasn't got really any browns it's got some sort of earth tones in here it does look more putrid and it probably is screen accurate if I turn the light off you might get some more or less <laughs> Just depends. I mean, you can see the nice striping on the legs. I do like that. 2008 does have some of that as well. But this one seems to have uh, gone for a more in-depth paint job. More accurate paint job, I should say. But, you know, it doesn't matter what version you've got. 2008, 17 or 19, they're all They've all got a different um, 
pluses and minuses. I mean, if you like the cloudy dome look, then this one might not be for you. I personally like to see the skull and the eyes on my one. I think it is pretty even. I know some people have their uh, different paint jobs and you know this one's it's not without a few flaws it's got a bit of damage on the arm here I think that might have been from uh, transit the guy that I bought it off didn't pack it very well and he used the the metal uh, the, the wire tires so that could have rubbed the paint off um, it could have come to him like that as you can see up here it's got a bit of a separation in the arm at the joint there it's that's bugging me but it might be you know fixable with a with a hairdryer and you know it might it might sort itself out with heat I think maybe it was posed in such such a way that it's separated or maybe it was always like that but um yeah I'm gonna try and sort that and push the, the joint tighter together hopefully sort that there's a few little glue marks on it and you know you can see here at the front there's a few little marks on the side um that is one of those things you it's potluck really whether you buy it new or used obviously used you're gonna you know it's gonna have likelihood it's gonna have more damage to it or more marks to it but um I think the guy did look after this. You can see there's a bit of scuff in here on this part, which is a weird, like, um, nappy type of pair of pants or whatever. It's, it's flexible, so you've got more articulation there. I say that's another thing. I, I kind of like the 2008 version for it. It's, it's a solid piece. If you get it posed up nice and there, uh, you know you glue some of the joints in place it's a sturdy figure and it's got more articulation than this one at the waist or at least my one has maybe because it was damaged it has got a ball joint here but it very maybe it's just very stiff it does have a bit of tilt and a bit of um forward and back can't really do it one-handed very heavy figure but um doesn't have as much rotation as i thought it would have maybe mine's just stiff or uh, maybe I can heat it up and uh, manipulate it more. But my initial thoughts are, I'm very pleased with it. It's a very nice figure. Uh, for what it is, it's horrible looking, but it's, um, it's a movie icon. It's a piece of history, film history. It's a, it's a, it's a stuff of nightmares. It, it's inspired many, and nobody's ever equaled the design of the uh, alien. You know, it's got different biomech and uh, inspiration, and it is terrifying in in many respects. You know, it's uh, don't want to get too deep on it, but um, or gross people out. But you, if you know anything about Alien, you know where I'm coming from there. And some scenes in the film with Lambert, in particular, are very disturbing and uh, goes into. The psychology of the alien it's very uh, sadistic and um, without any uh, conscience it's brutal which you know is not something to be idolized really but just the sheer design of it is is uh, amazing really and uh, Geiger you know used to take uh, I think it what was it now I'm not sure what drugs it was, but it was there. He, he said he, if he didn't take the drugs, the nightmares come back. So he's basically sedating himself. I don't know if that's true. Maybe the drugs give him the nightmares. He was there fooling himself. But it's a very interesting looking piece. It's very menacing. It's very uh, vicious looking. Not something I think my kids will be too pleased to see another one of. <laughs> I think they're kind of used to it now. It's kind of like background noise, you know. It doesn't really bother them. But uh, it's like with with full fear 
it's it comes from the unknown really and uh, your experiences if you're exposed to horror films then maybe you grow up loving them if uh, you grow up very sheltered then anything scary is uh, shocking so that's my thoughts anyway if you agree disagree let me know if you think uh, this is a nice pickup I, I think it is I paid a, a fair price for it I think they do go for a, a lot more in some cases and uh, if you can get this for around brand new for like 160 I think that's a good price if you can get it second hand cheaper then um, I'd advise getting it it's a good one but you definitely need a stand and you need some patience <laughs> trying to articulate it and pose it it's very clunky and just be careful of manipulating the the, uh, the, the part in the middle here I'm not sure how much give it's got I, I don't want to force it too much and snap it like uh, my previous one come to me broke and actually I don't mind if I break this one because I can always fix it and uh, give it more articulation so I might hit you up and try that and uh, let you know how I get on in another video but for now thanks for watching and uh, Hope you like the little look at this again it's not for everybody some people will love it and some people will be totally turned off and i can understand that it's not something you want to see first thing in the morning eating your cornflakes this ugly mug looking at you and me talking shit. But yeah thanks again for everybody, new subscribers and older like, and I'll keep making the videos if you keep watching them. So, thank you. Goodbye.